Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, March 21st, and it's time for another Sunday School devotion for our middle schoolers and high schoolers. So let us pray. God, thank you so much for this week. Thank you for um, this day. Thank you, God, uh, for your new mercies and grace today, Lord. Thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe and um, hearing our prayers. Continue to be with us as we learn more about you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, as you know, we're in the season of Lent, and that is the season where we're leading into Easter, uh, the celebration of Jesus' uh, resurrection um, and uh, our salvation through, um, through Jesus. So today, I want us to talk about why Jesus saved us, and that is the problem with sin. The problem with sin. Um, we're sinners, uh, but we can't do anything about our sin. We have to have a God, our Savior, Jesus, um, to save us from our sins. So the problem with sin is that we were born to um, sin. We were born into sin. Um, we were born to do what we want to do. We were born um, to not like when people tell us what to do. Um, we um, were born rebellious. That's part of our nature because we were born into sin uh, because of, of course, Adam and Eve who um, disobeyed God and brought sin into the world. And anybody born after that was born into sin. Um, and so we... Um, we don't like um, to be told no. We don't like um, uh, just to deal with people telling us, again, what to do. Think about a child. I have a child, as you guys know, and that is one of the um, one thing she's learning right now as a one-year-old. She does not like to be told no, and uh, she definitely tests her boundaries, and that's what anybody does. Um, we always try to test our boundaries to see how far we can go before we get in trouble. Um, so I believe we were all born to know um, that when things are wrong, but we have to have parents and then we have to have a God to show us right from wrong. Um, and so we have a sin problem as humans, um, but thank God that he did not leave us in this state. By ourselves. So there's three things I'd like to talk about from the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, 1 through 13, um, that talks about our sin um, and um, why we need a Savior. Amen? So the first thing is that in Isaiah 59, 1 through 5, um, it talks about what sin is. And sin is anything that we place above God, any of our desires. Uh, that we put above God. Um, when Adam and Eve were told not to do something and they did it, that was out of their own desires, their own selfish des desire to do it, even when they were told not to. Um, so we too um, have a disobedient nature. It's just part of us. That's how we were born. And that's that sinful nature um, in our lives. As much as we try to justify Sin, sin is sin, disobedience is disobedience. We can spin it however we want, but it is what it is. Um, and we've all offended God in some way through how we lived. Nobody is exempt from sin. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, God desires, though, to save us. And um, he's done... Um, everything to bring us back in right relationship with him with him so sin is what separates us from god number one so that's what sin is number two is we can't do anything about our sin we can't cover up our sin ourselves all right um, we can't do things to make ourselves right or repair the relationship that we have uh, repair our relationship uh, with that is damaged by sin with God. Um, we can talk about 
the good things that we do, oh, I'm more good than I am bad and justify that. But the truth is we cannot make uh, the, the thing, make things right, uh, make right the wrongs we've committed. We can't. Um, but in our own selves, in our own human selves, we have to have um, God to help us with that. So that's the second thing is there's nothing we can do to cover up our sinful nature, to change who we are, because we were born in sin and we will die in sin. You will sin <clears throat> from the day you were born until you die. That is part of our nature. The difference is you coming into relationship with Christ and him changing you and your desire to not sin, um, to sin less, to be more like him. Amen. So that's the second thing is that there's nothing you or me, we cannot do anything about the sin that we have on our own. We cannot repair the damage of sin. Only God can do that in us. And then the third thing is that, of course, sin, what we've talked about what sin is and that we're all disobedient. Number two, we can't do anything about that sin. But number three is that the story doesn't end there. God did not just leave us to be sinful in our sinful state. He did everything possible to bring us back to him in the se sin separated us. So he has done everything possible to bring us back in relationship with him. Um, and that final act um, that God did to bring us back to him is that he came down um, in human form as Jesus and he died for our sins on the cross in order to cover our sins um, in order to be in right relationship with him. Um, he, God, and let's put it this way, God had to die for us to be back in right relationship with him. All right. So the story didn't end there. Jesus, through his death on the cross, paid the price for sin and made us alive um, when we could do nothing for ourselves to, to clean, clean, clean up that sin. Only God could do that in us. Uh, we were absolutely powerless. We are absolutely powerless without God. God had to take, took those steps in order for us, um, again, to be back in his, in relationship with him. Because when we sin, our relationship is broken with him. It was God that delivered us from sin and brought um, hope. And it was God um, that set us free from the debt debt of sin. And he took those first steps towards us. So if there's anything that you now know about what God did is John three sixteen. God so loved the world. He loved us so much. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So God did everything possible because he loved us so much. So we have a problem with sin. Um, sin is part of our nature from birth to death. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we can't cover it up. We can't uh, justify it. Sin is sin. Uh, disobedience is disobedience. And we can't make those wrongs right. But we have a Savior. We have a God that did not in, keep the story like that. He did not end it like that. He made sure that we had a Savior who is Jesus Christ um, that died for our sins um, and made and paid the debt of sin for each of us. That's why we have to accept Christ into our lives to change um, um, our sinful nature uh, and to help us um, be back in relationship with God. Sin breaks our relationship with God. We need Jesus to be that bridge to bring us back to God, our creator. Amen. So I hope you learned something about sin and about the nature that each of us has, but we have Jesus Christ to help us um, in our sinful nature to be more like him day to day and to be back in relationship with him. 
um, for the rest of our lives. Amen. I pray this bless you and I pray that you are, this is helping you understand more about the story of Easter. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. See you next week. God bless.